Now to the latest on the coronavirus. The vaccine supply here in Pima County and across the country has gone way down over the last couple of weeks. But with a new vaccine on the way, we may see those numbers rise again. Daniel McFarland has the details. Dr. Cullen has been keeping an eye on the vaccine supply in Pima County over the last month, and it has halved since early February. But with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine being recently approved, she is hopeful moving forward into the rest of March. For this week, we have 23,000 doses of Moderna uh, that we are allowed to allot. We've actually had uh, discussions with all of our large pods, Tucson Medical Center, uh, TCC, and Banner, to ensure, to evaluate what their needs are. Dr. Cullen knows that we want to see bigger numbers and more available vaccines, but she also said that Pima County is well on its way to reaching its goal of having 300,000 people vaccinated by the end of March. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine was approved over the weekend, and the state health department says that the state will receive more than 50,000 doses the first week that vaccine is available. The production may have some variability, so while we may be receiving 50 to 60,000 doses the first week, um, we should anticipate that weeks two and three will likely be less doses. Of those 50,000, Pima County will receive a little less than 10,000 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. We were allocated 8,200 doses. We believe that that will be the only allocation we will get for the next three to four weeks. There isn't going to be enough vaccine to open up more distribution sites here in Pima County, but hopefully this Johnson & Johnson rollout will give Pfizer and Moderna enough time to produce more vaccines so we can get back on track. We've got you covered. Daniel McFarland, News 4 Tucson.